Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. Nine. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT. Yo. I saw, I don't know, some random tweet on the internet. I guess are they called tweets still? Or are they called like X bombs? They're now? A- X's now. You send X's on X. I got tons of X's on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh, I got X's in my life. Mm. X's over my eyes. All my X's is OnlyFans girls now. All my X's live in Texas. All my X's are taxes. <laughs> All of my X's should be having lovely lives, and I hope that they are happy. Me too. Flexus sexist from Long Beach to Texas. Mm-hmm. You know all of it. Um, what it said was couldn't have the card named the daughter. Like, okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. We're done. We're done. We're done. Uh, I'm going to read you the tweet. Yeah. It said, when I was 17, I went to get a limp biscuit tattoo. First, Word. first red flag. Word. And, and they wouldn't let me get it because I didn't have my guardian's approval. I cried and punched a lamppost. Yeah. It's a vibe. <laughs> right. It's a vibe. Ironically, three months later, yep. I was allowed to take on $119,000 in student loans and go to art school. I've seen this meme, yes. So, it, it's not much about the student loans. I mean, it is. But it's very interesting that, like, when you're 18, like, you can't go drink alcohol, but you can go to war. But you can take out six figures in loans to go get a quote unquote education. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But like you, you don't know any better about any of those things. Like you don't know better no. like what going to war is going to do to you. You don't know better about taking on six k six figure k debt is going to do to you. And, but they're all like, don't drink a beer. So like, oh, I, I mean, guess smoke cigarettes anymore, isn't it? Twenty one now to smoke cigarettes or something. I think. Yeah, it's I thought they did. They did change the. Yeah, but you can't age. smoke a cigarette, like either. Like, buy a lottery ticket. Yeah, they decide how you can hurt yourself, and they decide how you can uh, not hurt yourself. It is. It is an interesting di- uh, dynamic, and I mean. As far as the drinking age, nobody's saying that they should lower that. No, but I mean, it works out okay in Europe, Mexico. Right. I mean, you're going to be 18 or 19 there. Some places are even younger, 16. Even though I do think it's insane that you can sign up for the military service, yet you can't drink a beer. That, I think, is... That's the wildest part. Yeah. That's kind of insane, right? Yeah. Well, but on the same note, like, could you imagine a bunch of 18-year-old with their two-year driver's license driving around? Oh, yeah. Well, I think the other part that's kind of funny is, like, you can't get a tattoo because it's permanent, but you try and tell me six six figure debt for going to school ain't pretty much permanent? I mean, yeah. That's, that's permanent. I mean, it's, it's, that's but that permanent. ruins your life finance. Like, if you got a fucking unicorn on your cheek, that's one thing that you can get. Like, you take out that debt, like, yeah, that you got that debt. Is there nothing in place? Like, I, I feel like there has to be something in place that protects kids who make those types of financial decisions early on in life from. Well, no, they want them the to. I mean, of course they want them to, and they honestly, I feel like they prey on them to a oh, certain absolutely. extent. Oh, absolutely. I mean, with the grandiose dreams of college being the only uh, key to success or the only pathway to success. Well, right, exactly, dude. Like, because like, here's the thing, like. When I went to college and got loans, n- none of my family had went to college. My parents didn't go to college. All they knew was we can't afford it, and every the schools were just like, well, we'll, all, we'll give you the money. You're going to make money when you get out, buddy. No problem. Yeah, you're you're going to make money when you get out, buddy. <laughs> well, what, right, and, I, and I'm and i an 18-year-old kid. It was like, oh, my parents think it's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that, yeah, yeah. that exact thing happened to me. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm just like, oh, I guess I get more loans. Guess I get more loans. You know what I mean? Like, whatever. <laughs> just get more money when the money runs out from the Right. Di- and then, like, you know, you hear, like, your grandparents and your mom, like, better go to college. Gotta go to college. And then you're like, y'all gonna help me pay for this? No. Like, <laughs> no. excuse me? No, dude. That, them days are over with. Your parents paying for college? Are those days over with? I, feel I mean, like- for... Me? Yeah. People like me. <laughs> yeah. People like me that so it was yeah. never a yes, thing. That was, that was years was ago. Be. Years ago, Dynamite. And, and ain't I nobody it. doing that now neither, unless they nah. affluent. Yeah, affluence is always a good thing, man. God damn. Like I mean affluence I'm fine with you. that. Like, yeah, if my mom was like, Hey, I got I got forty K for you real quick, like 
Thanks, Mom. Yeah, hook it up. Yeah, and I'll get you, what, one semester in college now? That reminds me of the, uh, I saw, I, like, I, who God knows how, how fake or how real it may have be, been, but I saw, like, there was a, a boy dating, like, a, a younger girl. They were about the same age, probably, like, high school, maybe, like, junior college or whatever. But uh, they're doing, like, one of the, like, guys walks up to him with a microphone. Can I ask you guys a couple questions? He's like, uh, you know, who pays for most of the stuff here? He's like, oh, I do. He was like, tell me what's in your bank account. And, and the kid had, like, you know, he had, like, five, $600 in his bank account. Asked to see what's in the girl's bank account. She's like, oh, I have, like, $15,000 in the bank account. He's like, you have fifteen k in the bank? I'm paying for everything. I'm like, we're out on a date right now. I'm paying for dinner. It was expensive. You're not helping at all. He's like, you're my boyfriend. You're supposed to pay for my shit. Oh, my God. I mean. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. like, you're my boyfriend. He's like, are you insane? I'm working my ass off over here. It's like, my dad gave me the money. It's not our money. It's my money. I'm like, okay. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> so. Yes, there are people who live and walk through this world with that mentality. There are. There are. Yeah, it's it, it's like, and then, they, yeah, they don't even, they're just like, they act like they're broke. <laughs> the acting like the, you're broke is kind of insane. I'm not going to lie. Rich people, we got to stop. You got to stop acting like you're broke, all right? This is Plexico Burst. I'm one of you. <laughs> you generally, you genuinely have to, we got to stop it. I'm tired of it. Look, I watch a lot of hip hop. Uh, I like a lot of hip hop like media, and I'm sick of Charlemagne the God acting like he's broke. I'm sick of DJ Academics acting like I'm sick of Joe Budden acting like I'm sick of you all acting like you're broke. I'm sick of uh, the, look, I watch a lot of political stuff. I'm sick of John Myers. What's his name? John Myers? I have no idea who you're talking about. The, the late night guy, Seth Myers. Seth Myers. Who's the other one? Noah, Colbert. Noah. Who? Colbert. I'm tired of Colbert acting like he's broke. Jimmy Fallon definitely ain't broke. Jimmy Fallon, bro. I don't know. Jimmy Fallon probably, he probably acts like he got money. Because he don't, he just get up there and he don't give a fuck. He like, y'all gonna pay me. He seems like he's got money. Uh, oh, yeah. Who's the other one? The one that got mad because somebody said he might be on the Epstein list. Oh, uh, man Kimmel. show guy. Kimmel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like Kimmel. Yeah, he seems like a douche. Never, never like Kimmel. On the Man Show, he was funny. Never been a Kimmel fan, you know. And I don't know if it was. Oh, the, he was on that sex talk show with Doctor Drew too. What was he that? Was the, oh, that was Love uh, Line. Love Line. That shit was funny. Yeah, I used to like that show actually. <laughs> that was a good show. People were just calling me like, "Yeah, I got like her Kermit clerps," and I was just like, "Oh shit, that's a thing." Yeah. And then he's he like, just, "He's like my balls are the size of grapefruits." And then he'd be like, "Yeah, I just want to rub some lemon on your wounds." And I'd be like, "Oh, okay, cool." He's like, "Is there a green discharge or a clear discharge?" He's like, "Oh, clear, sir." He's like, "You're good. Take some antibiotics. You'll yeah, be fine." Yeah, just chop your dick off and call me in the morning. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. I never liked. I never liked Jimmy Kimmel, man. I don't know. I always wanted Adam Carolla to get better. He was the other guy. Yeah, from the he show. seems like he's just like a what? slide through life kind of guy. Who is that, Adam Carolla? Yeah, like he's just wow. like a stone. He has like that stoner, like whatever, man, vibe. Wow. Where Kimmel's like, I'm on coke. I'm gonna be fucking going <laughs> places. I don't know, man. J Jimmy Kimmel just rubs me the wrong way. Wow. I don't, I don't know, like, man. Is it, is, you think he's like he's like fake, or do you think he's like just a yes? Dude? I think he's fake. That's what bothers me about Fallon. I think the most is he just seems like he's the fakest guy on the planet. Okay, okay. Is it the character that is Fallon? Because I can, I can, like, I would say if you said Fallon was annoying, I'd be like, okay, well, I'm 100% on board. But I feel board. like that's not him. I feel like he's not the, hey guys, um, yeah, all the time. I don't think that's him. I think that's. No, just, he has like children and shit, so probably not. I don't know, maybe. Like a multi million dollar conglomerate business LLC to look after. Yeah, he's a. Uh, so yeah, he probably yeah. not. Though I do, you know, I hear Elon Musk is pretty much what, what you get. <laughs> so who knows? Yeah, man. but yeah. I, yeah mean, I don't know. Jimmy Jimmy Fallon, like, if, he's annoying. I'll give you that. But as far as, like, fake, yeah, maybe. I Kimmel, 100% fake. I don't feel like chemical. Kim, chemical. I don't feel like Jimmy Kimmel like believes any of the liberal talking points that he speaks every day. I don't believe he believes any of them. You think he's straight up a pub? I think that he is gay for the stage, Jonas. That is what I think. What does that mean? 
Gay for the state. I know what gay for the state means, but like, what do you mean about like how that relates to him? Because it's not about homosexuality in prison. Yeah, it's about political stance. Oh, he's just he's just like lib for the hib. Lib for the the money. Oh, I mean, you get a chance to work at the nighttime and, uh, entity for like one of the largest well, television broadcasting companies in I America. Mean, then yeah, you're gonna take. I that. don't know anyone that would portray a character on a show, but. Um, yeah, but I feel like, but I feel like all of those personalities are characters. Some of them are probably just raging a holes and don't want to talk to anybody and don't give a shit. They're curmudgeons, like whatever. See, like, look, you say that, and then you look at somebody like John Stewart. Okay, obviously not gay for the stay. Obviously, a hundred percent. Just he is about the cause. Well, and I feel like that's really him too. Ex that's my point oh, is yeah, that yeah. there is a difference they're not all the same I would even go as far as to say that I feel like Colbert is not just gay for the stay either <laughs> he's 100% that. about the call well, he was on the daily show with Jon Stewart like I think they're you know they're the comp they're what do they say off the same cuff or something whatever that, yeah that is true because I, I kind of feel uh, the same way like even the about Trevor Noah to a certain extent. I feel like he is one of those entities that is kind of kind of truer about it. But yeah, I, I don't know. When I look at Jimmy Fallon uh, and uh, Jimmy Kimmel, I guess I don't get the same vibe from I him. Don't. Or Seth Meyers, damn him. They all, oh yeah, they all seem fake as F, dude. I do. Seth, Seth Meyers is a theater kid. Oh my God. Oh, does I'm improv. Sorry. He's an improv you kid. You know he does improv. You know he does. He, he seems like an improv boy. Oh my god! So yeah, I don't know. I don't like any of that. I don't remember what we were talking about originally. I feel like it was something, uh, it was something interesting. God like. damn! It's only been like ten minutes. What was <laughs> it? Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, being allowed to do stuff when you were eighteen. Oh yeah, we got yeah, way yeah, off yeah. of that. Actually, you know what, kids, just stop. You shouldn't be. Don't able to do, do anything. anything. Don't just, do anything. Just stay in your mom's basement. Honestly, kids shouldn't even be able to look at other people until they're twenty. <laughs> shouldn't wear blindfolds until you're forty. I agree. Uh, anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, subscribe, go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. Oh yeah.